Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna show you how to start from scratch with the Unity project, starting with downloading Unity Hub, so you can download the version of Unity you want, as well as adding modules you need for your project. We're gonna focus on how to do a WebGL build and uploading it to itch.com and make it playable in the browser. This is especially useful for game jams, like the one that I am hosting currently, description um, information down in the description below. So the first thing you're gonna go do is you're gonna open your web browser and you're gonna go to unity3d.com slash git dash unity slash download or just Google download unity, you'll find it. And you wanna download the Unity Hub. And then once you have the Unity Hub downloaded, you wanna open it up, which I believe in the install process, um, it gives you that option to launch it right away. So here from the Unity Hub, I go to installs and then I go to install editor and then you can choose what releases you want to install. So a couple of them are listed right here. Otherwise, you can go to the archive and go to the download archive and find the specific version that you want. Um, but if you're doing my game jam that I mentioned earlier, the goal is to at least use one of 2020's um, LTS, long-term supported versions. You can also use 2021 for my game jam if you want. And just get them installed from here. So, wow, they've already added another patch. I'm currently using 2020. 325 f1 but it looks like there's a 26 f1 now um and so once you have it installed you're going to want to again from projects is where it opens usually you want to go to installs and then you're going to want to go to your installation you're going to be using click on the gear icon and choose add modules um, add all the modules that you would normally want to use for your project's plan um, like android build support um, iOS build, tvOS, Linux, yada, yada, yada. Um, but for this example, we're going to be doing WebGL. So you're going to want to scroll down and find WebGL build support and make sure you check the one that you need and install it. Um, now, I already have WebGL on here, as you can see from this icon here. And so now let's jump into the project and set it up for WebGL. Okay, so inside your project, um, I just created a new scene in a project I've been working on, and I just called it WebGL. You don't have to do that, but it's just simpler for me. Go to File, then Build Settings, and make sure you switch to WebGL. Um, now, if you don't have the module installed, you'll see an option here to install via Hub. You can go ahead and do that. Um, when you do that, it's not gonna update this dialog unless you completely quit the editor. But last time I tried, even though it didn't update it here, I was still able to switch platform. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my platform to um, WebGL. And I'll pause the video while it's doing that. All right, so my project is now in WebGL. I'm gonna remove this scene because that's not one of the scenes I have. And I'll go ahead and add my open scene. Um, then I can go to uh, edit project settings, or if you're already in build settings, you can go to player settings. Um, but I'm gonna show you from this other way. So edit project settings. And then um, I want to go to uh, player, and then find the one with the five, it stands for HTML5, that's WebGL. And for my game jam, um, one of the requirements is to make sure that you're using a 960 by 600 canvas. Um, but you, you're not required to do that for WebGL, but if you're going to be doing my game jam, do that. If you're not, I also liked 960 by 600 and other game jams I've done. It's just a good resolution. Um, I also have WebXR installed right now. You won't see that. You'll either have default or possibly minimal. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to think I'm going to do default for right now, but I think that's all I need for my player settings. So I can go ahead and close that. Now let's just do a sample build, but I need to be able to see something because right now there's nothing um, to see here. So let's just go make this a little bit different. So I'm gonna go into my main camera. I'm just gonna choose a solid color. Uh, let's make it a little, a little unique, something I haven't used in other projects. Let's go, let's do like a pinkish, okay? And then I'm just going to right click um, UI. I'm just gonna add text mesh pro and center it and say, this is my test WebGL build. And let's just go like this and let's, I'm holding down Alt and Shift and I'm just gonna expand that all together so that it fills the canvas and I'm also gonna center it vertically and horizontally. All right, so this is my test WebGL build. So now if I go File and Build Settings, uh, make sure my scene is added in the build, there's WebGL. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Build. 
All right, so um, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this WebGL build. I mean, call it whatever you want, just so that you can find it. And it should go through the build process. All right, so in my build, I had errors because uh, I had Oculus's integrations in my project I was using, which hates WebGL. So I had to create a new project real quick. I can't remember if this is the exact text I use. You may get a pop-up that says um, the firewall's trying to block some features. I can't remember exactly why it's doing this, but you're the one that made this happen. You're doing it through Unity. You can trust Unity, so go ahead and allow access. All right, so there's my build folder. It took a while. Um, if you do cons more builds, successive builds, if you do more builds, if you build it into the same folder, it shouldn't take near as long. Um, but yeah, so there's my build folder. And so the next thing I want to do is I want to zip it. So in Windows, you can go to Share and choose Zip. And there it's nice and zipped. It needs to be zipped for it to be um, used on itch.io. All right, so now let's go to itch.io, which is an easy place for you to upload your WebGL game for people to play in their browser. So if you go to itch.io, you're going to want to log in. And then you're going to go to um, Upload New Project. So I'm clicking the arrow next to my name. Go to Upload New Project. And create a title. So I'm just going to call this Test Web GL Build. All right, it'll automatically create a URL, but you can edit that a little bit if you want. And I'm not worried about um, the classification or anything right now. Mine, I'm going to set it to an HTML. So we have a zip or HTML file that will be played in the browser. So we have a zip. We're going to choose that. Um, release status, I'm just going to put in development on this. Um, leave it to $0. And now I can upload my file. So if I go to my folder and then find... Phillips Game Jam, Birthday Game Jam, and there's my build. All right, um, this file will be played in browser. That's important to check. Otherwise, people are just going to download it. So playable in browser. And um, 960 by 600 is my project dimensions that I chose. I'm going to put that there. Um, you can choose if it's mobile friendly or not. I do want a full screen button on mine, although I think it's redundant if I remember right, because Unity add one, adds one, and so then also um, Itch will add one, but you can edit it if you need to. Put in descriptions about it. Put a genre, tag so people can find it searchable. I'm just gonna make this a draft. I'm gonna click save and view page. And here we go. Now I just click run game. Notice there's my two full screen buttons. <laughs> If I had chosen the minimal template in Unity, um, that would have been nicer probably, and then I could just use the itch full screen button. But there it is, test WebGL build. I can go full screen. Um, there it is. So you have to use the Unity full screen button, otherwise itch doesn't do it. So that's, uh, I would go back and edit my game and remove the full screen button. Save, view page, run game. So now if I use the Unity full screen button, now it actually fills the screen. Okay, so um, I hope this was helpful. If you've never done a game jam, there's tons of them on itch.io. Um, let's talk about my game jam real quick. Um, it's a great game jam. It ends on my birthday. So let's see, jam's hosted. Here we have Philip's birthday game jam. Only 13 people have joined so far. So currently the likelihood of you being a winner is really, really high. Um, but just check it out. Um, I'll be putting more and more videos in the description to like this first one is just an introduction to the jam um, This video I'm recording now I'll put in here So I'll put in some more helpful videos in here and they'll also be on my YouTube channel um, So be sure to check out my game jam. There's still 23 days left. All right. We'll see you in the next video